Meteorologist Alita Loresca with a look at your one minute weather. We've got more scattered storms in the forecast and similar to yesterday. Some of these storms could be on the intense side locally. Brief heavy rainfall, a possibility during the afternoon and also some gusty winds. Some of these strong winds coming out of these thunderstorms could briefly drop those temperatures, but look for highs today into the low 90s. Here's a look at future track as we roll closer toward two, three, four o'clock in the afternoon. Those showers that will be hitting the coastline later on this morning will blossom into some of those heavier, those stronger thunderstorms and then slowly start to peter out as we get closer towards sunset. Put it all together, maybe half an inch of rain, not uh, seeing a high signal for any more than that, but we'll monitor, of course, those heavier cells that move through because sometimes those those storms could dump a quick inch of rain. No widespread flooding issues, but some minor street flooding or even some ponding on the roads uh, will have to be on the lookout for. After Afternoon temperatures in the low to mid 90s, so maybe one or two degrees lower compared to yesterday's high. And then going into Thursday and Friday, we're going to be monitoring kind of this deeper tropical moisture here over the southern Gulf of Mexico. This is a tropical wave, and that tropical wave is going to send a fetch of moisture in our area on Thursday. Got you down for a 40% chance of some showers and storms on Thursday, and then increasing those chances for rain as more of that moisture gets tugged in our direction. The weekend is still looking mostly dry, but I think Saturday you've got a better opportunity of seeing a few thunderstorms uh, get triggered by that sea breeze and the daytime heating. Sunday, Monday, still a 20% chance of rain. And then the signs for next week is a pattern change. That pattern change is going to include another one of those rare summer cool fronts. This cool front looks to do follow the same pattern that we've seen in recent weeks where it kind of gets hung up, stalls out somewhere across southeast Texas, and then eventually traps in that deeper tropical moisture. And that's going to lead to some daily downpours and daily storm chances beginning on Tuesday. All right, that's a look at your forecast. Thanks for watching. You've Zoom.